Hello there, Libra. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are having a look at 2023 and we're going to see what blessings are headed your way. 2023 is kind of a very uh, magical, interesting year numerologically. Um, twos, of course, twos represent balance, harmony, unity, connections, um, decisions as well. Threes, we've got the three in there as well. Threes are the basis of manifestation, creation, things blossoming and expanding in your world. And you put all those together, two, two, and three, and we get a seven. So sevens are the number of spirit represents wholeness and perfection. The sevens are also, thank you, also the number of ascension, both spiritual and physical. So things ascending, rising in your life. And also sevens can represent the quest for knowledge, expanding your mind, asking the big picture questions. Why am I here, right? Maybe a little bit of philosophical questions coming in for you there. So seven also is a little bit lucky for some people, right? So a lot of people consider sevens a very lucky number. And as I'm speaking about seven, your first blessing is card number seven. A blessing on the senses that gift the world to you. I think there's so many beautiful things blossoming in your life right now. I think you are, your senses are heightened, your chakras are heightened. This is a time of opening up to your true potential, your true gifts. For some of you, you're going through a period of spiritual growth, of personal growth. And you may be even in this particular energy, you may even be figuring out how to use your natural talents to either help other people or perhaps you're nurturing something that you're really good at, maybe getting back into the game, spending some time doing the things that you love, um, honing your skills, so to speak, right? Getting a little bit better at something. So I think here that you're really kind of feeling a deeper connection with yourself, with the world around you, with your spiritual self, but also all of your um, other senses, your sight, your sound, your touch, your feeling, your healing, your giving, all of this energy. And it's like really feeling that connection. So there's some great things that are blossoming around you. I think some of you, you're really opening up your third eye. You're trusting your intuition a little bit more. Um, you may even be on that healing journey as well. You're opening your heart. You're expanding your mind. So it really is a wonderful energy for you. We have card number 44, a blessing on a homecoming. So this can represent for you that you are blessed with stepping into a true sense of who you are. You're finding your feet again. Especially if you've been feeling a little bit disconnected or unsure of yourself, maybe you've had um, some things that have gone on and you haven't been feeling as confident as normally you would. And so this is really you stepping into a true sense of self. This can certainly also be you figuring out who you are. Who am I? What am I meant to be? Where am I meant to um, live? What kind of people are supposed to be in my life? And I think you're th you're really getting things to a level of stability and security in your world. This is card number 44, which is in some circles considered a master number. There's a debate on other circles about that. But look up the deeper meaning of number 44 for yourself. It's quite often stability, security, a good, strong, solid foundation, both internal and external, can also also represent your career, your home life, right? The things that, you know, kind of make you, um, you know, feel like you've gotten to a good place. Okay. So look up that for you, but the blessing on a homecoming can also represent, um, something coming back. So either you are perhaps, um, returning somewhere right? Like think of a homecoming, right? You're going back home, okay? Wherever home might meet for you. But I think someone may be coming back into your life. 
And considering this is a blessing, okay, this would be somebody that you're happy to see or someone that you're happy that they have come home or come back. So it could be something like, you know, if you've got um, one of your children or a family member that's been away from home for a while, maybe they're in college or university, or maybe someone's been traveling the globe, or maybe someone has just been living in another city, okay, this could be the year where they kind of come back um, into your world, come back to your home, come back to your city, and this is clicking into place for you. I do feel that there is a little bit of love in the air for somebody. So there might be, um, you know, if you've been separated from somebody, there might be someone coming back. So perhaps you're um, getting things worked out in a relationship, a friendship or a romantic relationship. But I also do feel for you singles out there that there may be love coming back into your life. And you're, you know, you might be thinking, how is that a homecoming that I didn't have them to begin with? Soulmate energy. Okay, coming in there because our soulmates, right, we have a lot of them throughout our lives. They're not always romantic, but I do feel a romantic connection coming in for some of you in there, right? And it's your soulmate coming home. Oh, this is lovely. We have the earth spirit energy bringing you stability. This is lovely. Remember, we've got card 44, stability and security in your life. And here you are, a repeating message for you. So the blessing of stability, feeling as though you're grounded in reality, feeling as though you're safe and secure and you're exactly where you're meant to be. So I think things are clicking into place for you. And like I said, sevens can be a very magical number, a very mysterious number, but an incredibly positive number. Okay, so um, I, and so are the fours, by the way. So I think the this year ahead is very positive for you. And I think you're going to have a bunch of little small things that over time accumulate into the big things, right? So um, the little tiny blessings that come in for you. It might not be a huge shift, okay, but it could just be one by one by one and you're getting things worked out. So let's see what other blessings are headed in here for you. Thank you. Oh, look, a two for, ooh, okay, this is nice. See, look, you know what? I knew that there was some love or connection or something coming in. We've got the Ace of Summer, the Ace of Cups energy, okay? New friends, new romances, healing, finding peace within relationships, things coming back together. The Aces are new energy, but they're also the next level and improvements in your life too. So I think here that, again, there is some wonderful new things coming in here for you that really do affect your heart space in an incredibly positive way. But we've got the King of Spring. Now, the King of Spring is the King of Wands energy. So first and foremost, this is you. This is you, tall, strong, proud, confident, living your best life, following your passion, your goals, and your dreams, and taking action, positive action, and positive steps forward wherever you're guided to go, to take the King of Spring can bring in a lot of improvements in your material world sometimes, okay? Um, this particular deck, this is the fairy, uh, the fairy Tarot, and in this one, this actually is connected to perhaps um, some financial improvements in your world, a windfall, if you will. But this is also an energy of leadership, of taking control, okay? Of not taking things, laying down, and making positive moves, positive actions, and getting the results that you're looking for. Okay, so a little bit of excitement in the air for you here. You're finding new sources of inspiration. Um, this does bring it about a big creative energy into your world here as well. But the King of Spring can also not just be your energy. It can also be a very wonderful person coming into your life. Now, this could just be a person in your life in the year ahead that has a positive impact on you in some way. This person may have an offer, an opportunity for you. This person may just be someone fun that you want to hang out with, someone who maybe inspires and motivates you. This could be someone that you just enjoy their company or someone that may have some really good advice for you. This can be a friend, a family member, someone coming back into your life, right? It can also represent a little bit of a mentor, perhaps, okay? But someone who has a little bit of flair, someone who's very interesting, 
So it could be a great connection for you. We've got the Prince of Autumn coming in here too. Now the Prince of Autumn with the King of Spring. Okay, this is somebody in probably a leadership position or somebody, um, you know, that is, um, how should we say, a little bit mature. Maturity has nothing to do with age. They may have, they may be someone like that boss or that important person in your life, but they have an offer for you. Whoever they happen to be. The Prince of Autumn is the Knight of Pentacles. And so this could certainly represent job offers, opportunities, the money improvements in your world here as well. This can, of course, represent pre, uh, people in your life. Now, the princes, the princes are the knights. So the knights do tend to sometimes be a little bit younger or just have this overwhelming zest for life. But this is slow and steady energy. So this kind of prince or knight in shining armor, this would be that kind of person who they know what they want. They take the steps to get what they want to achieve, but they do things slowly, methodically, and clearly. They pay attention to the details. So this can be combined with the King of Spring. It can be the same person, someone who's exciting and, you know, um, you know, very successful. Um, but they also do know when to take their time. So they know when to take action and um, jump right into something, but they know when to take a step back because they're paying attention. But this can be another person in your life here as well. Perhaps somebody, um, you know, a friend, a family member, a child coming back, graduating university, because that would be about that age of that prince. So uh, someone who has learned their lessons in life a little bit. But this is also your energy bringing blessings to you, taking your time, being patient. You know what you want, right? The king of spring, you're taking the lead, you're stepping up, but you're still making sure that you're not ignoring the important details okay and you're not getting impatient so you know perhaps you do have a little bit of patience and confidence that is coming back in here for you for some of you here you're on a quest a quest for a new job a new home or perhaps you are just um you know really kind of bringing everything together for yourself this year and so um getting yourself into a place where you do feel that sense of stability and security and you know deep down that whatever goals you set for yourself, you will achieve them. Because there's things coming back to you here, Libra. The Six of Autumn is the Six of Pentacles energy. All of the good, all of the energy that you've put out into the world all flows back to you multiplied. At least sixfold. The help that you gave somebody comes back to you. The advice that you gave somebody comes back to you. The love that you give comes back to you. And this is a reminder that when you have plenty or when you have something to give to share your gifts and to share your talents and to help other people. And when we do help other people, because the six of autumn can certainly sometimes be a um, card of charity. And even though you may help somebody or be there for somebody just out of the goodness of your heart, not without any, you don't have any expectations of return. Inevitably, that's actually what happens. Because the Six of Autumn is the, is the law of giving and receiving. Things circulating, the energy circulating around you, the ebb and the flow, the give and the take, the push and the pull, and it's all in equal balance and equal harmony here. This is equal level commitments in relationships, okay? This is where two people are in it at the same level. I give a little, you give a little. I take a little, you take a little. And it all works in balance and harmony. And of course, balance and harmony is very important for you here, Libra. So something exciting, something unexpected may happen for you in the year ahead. This can be things coming back together. This can be people entering your life. This can be money, opportunities, doors opening for you. This can be a little bit of a financial windfall for you as well sometimes when we get this little bit of a surprise but a very positive and happy surprise and the ace of summer of course the ace of cups energy filling your heart opening your heart with love with joy with happiness with possibilities with potential and it's important when we do have all of this energy coming towards you especially offers and opportunities it's very important ace of cups energy to have our heart open and ready to receive 
So things really are opening up for you. You're in full on receiving mode in 2023 here, Libra. So open your heart to love, to romance, to opportunity. This is also your spiritual self here opening up as well. With the Ace of Summer, your heart is full. You're finding peace. You're finding harmony and joy and happiness in your world. For some of you, this is new. New people, new opportunities, new things. Everything just kind of clicking into place and you feeling really good. For others of you, it's those improvements, those things that you've been working so hard to change or to achieve in your world. It's all clicking back into place for you. So there's some excitement in the air for you here in the year ahead here. I think 2023 is kind of a little bit of magical year for you. Maybe even a little bit lucky. Of course, we do have card number seven coming out there. We also have the aces. The aces do tend to be lucky. And of course, we have the six. All right. But the six and the ace, six and one, another number seven. Okay. So let's get some more cards and see what else we've got for you. We have your heart chakra opening up there. So these are manifestation cards, manifesting your mastery. So the colors on the cards do represent what chakras they're aligning to. And we've also got an affirmation on the card as well. So this is your green, your heart chakra. Okay, your ability to be open, heal, find peace, and welcome things in. Perfect DNA. Within my DNA are the templates and blueprints of perfect health. Innate accesses the blueprints easily every time it is required. This is you really being able to open your heart, understand your feelings, um, know what choices to make, and open those doors. Beautiful energy. I think some of you might actually be getting some questions answered in the year ahead as well. Who am I, right? Remember, we have that homecoming energy. Who am I? Where am I meant to be? What path should I follow? And I think you're figuring it out because the answers really are all within. We always look externally for answers when an actual fact going within is the way forward. Oh, it's beautiful energy here. We've got your solar plexus here. We have enough for everyone. I am connected to the abundant flow of wealth and money that is available for everyone. The source of my supply is limitless and there is enough for everybody. Save that affirmation on your, on your phone, okay? Speak that out every single day. Speak it out loud. Beautiful. And we have your throat chakra. Speak it out loud. There you go. My existence matters. There is purpose to my life. My very existence on this planet matters. Yes, it does. For some of us, you know, we're always on a quest, us humans, for finding our life purpose. And we're taught from a young age that we have to be somebody. We have to be this doctor or this lawyer or the person that changes the world. Sometimes our path in this life is just to learn to be human, is just to live our best life. For some, some people, you've been here many, many times. You've cleared out so much, so much uh, karmic energy and you've done all of your life lessons. And this time around, you're just here to be and to live your best life, to be happy, to be free. For some of you, you are on this big cosmic journey, a journey of the soul, uh, culminating in, you know, closing off those big life lessons, those cycles. Um, some of you succeed, some it carries forward into the next, but we all have a different reason for being here. And that different reason is different. That reason is different for absolutely everybody. So we cannot look to our neighbors, our friends, our family even, and see what path they're on and compare ourselves because we are not in that same space. We're not on that same journey, even though we are connected through our DNA. There, DNA, <laughs> okay? Even though we are connected there, right? In some level, in some way. So remember, every single person's life path is unique and different just to you. So trust on your journey, okay? And know that wherever you are, you are making a difference in the world because everything is energy. And just like the ripple effect, Right, If you're in a still clear pond, you put your finger on that pond and you get the ripples that go outward 
That's the same thing with energy. Everything that we do affects something else. Therefore, your existence matters. There is your next blessing. A blessing of acceptance. Oh, look at that. Every part of you is equally worthy of love. Accept yourself as you are, and this will be a blessing unto yourself and others. If you wish to see the truth of the matter, hold no preference, either for or against a particular outcome. Just be the love that you truly are. Next blessing. A sea of blessings. Very nice. The universe is a projection from within you, and you are a projection of the universe. You are a vast space, and yet you are spaceless. You are a divine ocean of love, a sea of blessings. You are the wind of change that flows through life. And your final message, your final blessing, the blessing of just being. Wow. You may have been thinking that if you had acted or chosen differently in the past, things would be better now. But in thinking this way, you fail to see the positive effects your past actions and choices have had bo on both yourself and others. Look closely and you will see the many blessings. Namaste. I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some way or if you just enjoyed your reading. If so, please consider hitting like on this video and subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment in the box down below. Uh, break that little YouTube algorithm there. The more people that interact, the more people see the reading. That's just how things work in that digital world. But I thank you so very much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic 2023. Have a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for a big picture and for additional blessings headed your way. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.